Good morning. Um, I'm ready to tell you the most wonderful story today. And let's start with how we usually start with our song. Are you ready? Good morning, good morning. I hope you're well today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue. The flowers are sparkling just like you. Good morning, good morning. I hope you're well today. Have a nice day. I see my dog Spot is coming to help. To, I think she thought that I was going to go to the beach, but I had to wear my hat and my wrap because this book made me so excited. It is delightful. Let me tell you why. It's about a place in Abaco called Hope Town. Now, we live in one island of the Bahamas called Grand Bahama, but some of our friends live on another one of the islands, and it's Abaco, and part of Abaco is Hope Town. And we always laugh about Hope Town because we say, Hope Town is where the light shines. This story is made by the children of the school in Hope Town. Now, Grand Bahama had a lot of damage in the last hurricane called Dorian, but Hope Town was devastated. The school was absolutely lowered, nothing left. But people have put money together and they're rebuilding the school. And with books like this, I think they will get it all back together. It will take a long time. I'm going to read this to you because it's quite a long story, but it is delightful. So perhaps you can listen for a while and look for a while. It's called Up Keeps the Light On. It is beautifully done with children's drawings. Now, I'm going to sit very comfortably. How's that, sir? Is that like that? Okay, That's like good. that? Okay. Yep. In a tiny lizard lodge in the little village of Hope Town lives a lizard named Up. He lives up to his name every day because he always wakes up before everyone else in the house, even before the sunrise. It's a regatta time in Abaco and Up is on the dock watching the sailboats enter Hope Town Harbour for the night. He notices that the lighthouse keeper, Mr Elvis Jeffrey, doesn't look happy. Wondering why he looks so sad, Up asks, What is the matter? The keeper replies, I'm supposed to be in the race tomorrow. That means I have to leave the night on Manowar Key and stay there for one night because there's no one else to light the Elbow Reef Lighthouse. So I can't go. Uh-oh. Up thinks to himself, Surely, it's not too difficult, even for a little lizard like me. I'll volunteer to do it. I know I can do this, he insists to the keeper. I have watched you many times, and I have friends that I can call if I need help. Are you sure I can count on you? questions the lighthouse keeper. Up replies with the utmost confidence. Don't worry, I've got this. The lighthouse keeper gives him the keys. I'm trusting you, Up. The keeper smiles and jumps into the boat to go sailing. And as he drifts behind a big yacht, he yells, if you need more help, just... Up, cannot hear the rest. He shrugs, then jogs home, not caring much about what the keeper had to say. 
When Up arrived at the Lizard Lodge, he finds his mother cooking his favourite dinner, Ant Casserole. Ooh, I bet that's delicious. Up explains the keeper's situation to her and asks for permission to stand in as the keeper just for the night. She thinks about it for a minute and then she says, Oh, do you know that the lighthouse is 89 feet high and there are 101 steps to the lantern room? So can I go? Up begs. Oh, please, please. Well, okay, she agrees. I'm trusting you up. Be very careful and pay attention to what you're doing. If you were to fall from the top, she stops, then continues. I'm just a little worried. Don't break anything. Don't run up the stairs. Don't hang over the railing. Wait, do you know how to... Of course, Up's oh, not listening. He's already out of the door. Up is super excited. He runs to ask his friend Abby, the Abaco parrot, if she wants to have the coolest sleepover ever at Elbow Reef Lighthouse. It won't be too dark. I hate the dark, Abby squeaks. Don't worry, Up assures her. The lights will be on and we will have flashlights. Then Up and Abby call their friend Joe. Joe works on the Froggy's boat, so he knows a lot about diving. Joe is an enormous orange frog who loves the colour green. I'll meet you there. And you should probably bring food, drinks, and our favourite games. Gecko stick and lizard lolly, proposes Abby. It's no surprise that they both say yes to Up's lighthouse adventure. And so the journey begins. Look, they've got lizard lolly. I love it. And there's Froggy. <laughs> what a beautiful orange flower. Joe and Up stop by a sea grape tree where they collect a giant leaf and a few small branches. They use the branches as oars to help steer their sea grape leaf boat across the harbour to the lighthouse dock. While paddling, Up looks around the harbour and watches the turtles pop their heads in and out of the water. Spotty! Go away! Go and play! Go, Spotty! While paddling, Up looks around the harbour and watches the, watches the turtles pop their heads in and out of the water. Just then, a gigantic boat enters the harbour at high speed and creates a big wave. The waves knock their paddle boat over. Up and Joe watch as it floats away. They're both good swimmers, but the dock looks pretty far away. And just as they're about to panic, they see a pod of dolphins. The friendly dolphins swim over to them. Up recognises that one of them is his good friend Donald. They climb onto the dolphin's back and they're carried over to the lighthouse dock. I guess they didn't see the sign that says, Slow down, you're in Hope Town, Donald chuckles. Up and Joe laugh and agree, it's good to have friends. They thank them and walk up to the lighthouse. That's a beautiful sea grape leaf. I like to paint those. And this is a nice one, you can actually see, look, you can... See all the colours in the light in the Oh and there it is, look. Now if you go into Hope Town Harbour, you go through here, you see all the houses there, and there's this big sign to say, Slow down, you're in Hope Town. Because if you don't slow down, the waves get on all the little boats and it's very dangerous, and that's what happened to Up's boat. Then 
The keeper's dog, Ralph the Potcake, starts chasing them. Uh-oh, the door to the keeper's quarters is locked. It will take too long to open it, so they run into the light tower and close the door. They wait and wait for the dog to go, but he won't leave. It's time to light the lighthouse, up announces. But just as he's about to light it, he stops. What happened? wonders Abby, who's just arrived through the open windows. I I've forgotten how to do it. Oh no, not good, mutter the friends. What do we do now? I heard the keeper say something, but I didn't hear the end replies up. Well, why don't we just ask his dog, suggests Abby. What? Are you nuts? He'll eat me up, exclaimed up. Finally, they decided to ask the dog to help them. Joe has some unopened crackers in his pocket and in exchange for the crackers, the dog agrees not to eat up or his friends. No one wants to see the light not lit, not even the dog. As the sun is setting, they watch through the window to see the sky turn purple, pink and orange. Mm -hmm. I remember that the first step is to check the pressure on the kerosene tanks. There's a hand pump right there, directs Joe. They try and try, but they're not strong enough to pump it. Luckily, their new friend Ralph helps out, and after checking that the pressure is good, the friends suddenly notice it's, it's becoming very dark outside. Ralph gets the matches, and they head up to the lantern room together. I can fly you to the top, announces Abby. And there they go on the Abaco parrot, and look, see, up. Going upstairs, how many stairs were they? 101? 101. I'm glad Mum taught us how to light a match, boasts up as he climbs the ladder into the Fresnel lens. But before Up is able to strike a match, a commotion is flacking. Black wings stop him. <gasps> it looks like a bat. Who are you? Abby gasps. I'm Berry the Bat and I live up here. I was just hanging in the petroleum burner and I thought you were going to barbecue me, Scribe screeches Berry. Berry asks, aren't you going to take the curtains down? You're supposed to do that first. The curtains protect the lantern room from the powerful daytime sun. But at night, the lantern's lights can't go through them, he explains. Well, it's a good job he told them about those, the curtains. Ooh. While Berry and Abby remove the curtains that cover the lens, up, preheats the burner and places the match by the mantle, igniting, igniting it to make a burning flame. Golden beams shine over the horizon. It's working, they all shout at once. What an amazing sight. What an honour to be here. But now that it's lit, how are they ever going to stay up all night? Ooh, that's a lot. Suddenly, they get an idea. Leaving Ralph on duty, they venture into town. This time, they fly across the harbour on Abby's back. After they treat themselves to a cup of coffee at the coffee house, they turn to admire the lighthouse's unique flash patterns. A series of five white flashes every 15 seconds. But something is wrong. It's not flashing. In fact, the lens is not even turning. Yikes! Squawks Abby. Oh no! Crouch Joe. Whoops! Utters up. No flashing, it has to flash. They wonder what the problem is. It's only when Up remembers he was supposed to wind the mechanism first. After that, the lens dock has to be wound every two hours. 
On the way back across, they fly over their friends, Serena, the beautiful mermaid. Hey, guys, what are you up to? She asks. Tonight, I'm the lighthouse keeper, up brags with pride. Wow, that sounds exciting. Can I help? She squeaks. Up isn't sure that he needs any more help, but he doesn't want to disappoint his friend. He thinks for a second and suggests, Sure, if you see the light not flashing again, climb on up and I'll see what we can find for you to do. What a beautiful picture there, look. Up and Abby and Joe wind the lens mecha mechanism to get it turning. One, two, three, hundred, one, hundred, two, hundred, and three, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, four hundred and twenty-six. After four hundred and twenty-six full cranks, now it's working. Then they go to the lantern room and set their alarm for the next winding. After an hour or so, they fall asleep. They even sleep through their alarm. But it's great to have friends. Whoa. I'm going quickly because I know it's quite a long book. It's just so lovely. <coughs> Berry, the bat, who is nocturnal, is hanging in a nearby tree, wide awake and bored. He flies up to the lantern room and finds up Abby, Joe and Ralph fast asleep. Wake up, screams Berry. Aren't you supposed to wind the lens mechanism again? You're right. I have to wind the, mechan the machinery every two hours. <gasps> what am I going to do, Asa? We should stay awake by playing games, recommends Abby. But after a few games, Berry returns to his tree, never expecting that they would soon fall asleep again. And the Abby, the parrot, is dreaming about animals and and he is up and he's d dreaming about monsters and uh, the frog is dreaming about being barbecued, I think. And the dog is dreaming about eating the lizard. <laughs> this time it's Serena who notices the light is, is not flashing. She swings up to the dock as the lighthouse and sings a song to alert her friends. When they don't wake, when they don't wake, she wraps her arms around the lighthouse and climbs it like a coconut tree. She pops her head through the little door at the top and finds the friends in dreamland and is unable to wake them. She yells down to Donald the dolphin. Looks like they're in a deep sleep. What to do? I have an idea, Donald says. Here's some water. Wake them up. Then he sprays a fountain of water as high as the lighthouse out of his blowhole. Serena reaches out her tail and splashes the water against the glass to wake them. That'll be a shock, won't it? Up. Oh. Wakes up so surprised. I can't believe I fell asleep again. We'll not let you fail, assures the mermaid. It's good to have friends. I'll send over my pal, sideways the land crab, to watch over you. And if he sees you falling asleep again, he can pinch you to wake up. Pretty soon, sideways sees their eyes closing and gives them a pinch and shouts, Round the troops, pick up the pace. This is just the encouragement that Up and his friends need to stay away. Look at this one, it says, forward, onward, upward, together. That's the Bahamian motto. Okay, let's keep this thing cranking, exclaims Up. We have to make sure the light shines and flashes all night. And as they admire the signature pattern of flashes, they notice a ship in the distance. Oh, just in time, yells Up. We've done it. The sailors can see us now and they know where the reef is. They all happily shout, We saved a ship by keeping the light on. 
That was a close call, Up admits, as he finally realises how important it is to pay attention. The next morning, the lighthouse keeper returns. He can see that Up has understood just how big a responsibility the lighthouse keeper's job is. The keeper hugs Up and jokes with him. I can tell you've learned that many hands make light work. Thank you, Up. Then he tells them all about the regatta and how he won the first place trophy. Up beams with pride, knowing he and his friends have also won their own race. By working together as a team, they've learned to keep ships safe and the light on and shining beautifully. Brightly. This is so nice. And it was written by the children from Hopetown and put together for their school. We hope that they get back together because we love Hopetown. I have been so many times to stay with friends there and it's so beautiful, but right now it needs a lot of help. So please look it up on your maps, Hopetown, Elbow Reef, and okay. it's Abaco. And the painting I've got today is by another old Freeporter. Her name is Doreen McNeil. And now she lives in New Zealand. And those that used to know Doreen many years ago, she is doing so well and she's painting beautiful pictures. This is one that we have in our little cottage right here in Grand Bahama, Freeport. That was quite a long one, but I must say, Sarah, did you enjoy that story? Yeah. I thought it was very good. So, bye until the next time. Keep watching, keep safe. Bye.